Now, before we're going to forget, we ate uh, enough uh, different things. Now, question to you. I ate a little bit grapes and a little bit uh, watermelon and a little bit sushi. Do I get to say bore nefashot or no? I didn't eat one ounce of neither of the things. Jesse, what do you say? Jesse is expert in laws of brachot. I ate a little bit grapes. One grape. I ate one watermelon. And I ate one small sushi. Peace. Should I say bore nefashot or no? So if the Bechor would be sitting over here, I would tell him this according to your Torah. <laughs> but according to our Torah, ah, the grapes does not combine together with the watermelon and with the sushi. What's the reason? Anything that has two different bracha achrona, they do not combine for bracha achrona. If a person ate a lot of grapes, ounce of grapes or more, what bracha achrona does it say? Allah it. Remember? You don't say Borene Fashot on grapes. What bracha harona do you say on sushi or on watermelon or on all the rest of the fruits? Borene Fashot. So since the bracha harona after the watermelon and after the sushi, it's the Borene Fashot. This category of Borene Fashot. The Borene Fashot category is different than the grapes ones. Because the grape bracha after is. It's a different category. If a person has a debt to Bank of America, then he has another debt to Chase Bank. Together, he owes them $10,000. Five here, five there. Let's make it easy. 6000 here, 4000 there. He pays up the $6,000 debt, and he calls the Chase and says, that's it. I'm done. What are you done? I paid off my balance. Did you pay your balance? Here. Six thousand dollar paid. It says the head head title says Bank of America. You tell him, Malio Vasha, you paid the Bank of America. What about our money? Chase money. Where is this money? <laughs> because you covered the other one, you cannot right now claim that you covered for the Chase debt that you have, right? They don't combine together. Even if you would pay ten thousand dollars to Bank of America, you didn't cover yourself in the debt that you have with Chase. Nahon? So same thing about says Halakha. Do you have two take different categories? You have Bore Nefashot category and you have Me'en Shalosh category. The Me'en Shalosh category and Bore Nefashot category and Me'en Shalosh category is like two different banks. Once you ate an ounce, you have a debt to pay Bracha Achrona. If you paid Bracha Achrona for Me'en Shalosh, Bore Nefashot, it does not connect to Me'en Shalosh, neither the other way around. Is this clear? That's why, says Rav Ali Yosef, if a person ate half of Kazai, of grapes, and half of kazait of watermelon or sushi or whatever it is, since the bracha after it's different than the bracha after on the main shalosh, it's so different brachot acharonat, they don't combine. So you don't have even one bracha acharonat afterwards to be said. Rabbi, what are you saying? No, what do you say? No, no bracha acharonat. No bracha acharonat. Same problem, Akil, you know what happens? When a person is eating bread Friday night or any other holidays. Sometimes you go to Yeshua, parties, the amount of food on the table, you say, look how much food there is on the table. So you eat a little bit, you know, the, everybody gave you a small piece, so you eat a little bit, that's it. Then what about the, the salad, the fish, this, that, you eat, bakol mi kol kol, you work, get up out of the table, loaded with food. I go, Joe. What the bracha do you say? Jesse Mata Omer. He ate a little bit of bread, he beat on the bread, and then, and then he ate fish, salad, well, name it. First of all, he doesn't pray on the bread. The bread he doesn't say, what bracha ha'onad is he supposed to say? Yeah, Happens a lot, a lot. Huh? Only bore nefashot. Why? What about the bread? He ate bread. Says Allah Ephraim, if he did not eat one ounce of bread, he ate a little bit. Let's say you know the sliced bread, one slice is one ounce. So you ate one third of that slice, half of that slice. You didn't eat one slice. Because there's so much other food, why should I fill up myself with bread? That's what people think, right? Because they don't know the laws. So they eat a little bit of the bread, and then they knock down the whole table, and then afterwards, my <laughs> 
Habib, in your case, is no, don't wash your fingers, wash your toes. It doesn't count, so it doesn't work. You're supposed to say, behind Macholim Chobay, and say, Birgat Amazon, only whenever you ate one ounce of bread. And then sometimes you tell the guy, Aleo Vasya, your bread, you didn't eat, you ate so much food. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Then he eats a little bit more of the bread, and he finished the slice. Now, should he say, Birgat Amazon? No, no, Birgat Amazon. Why not? He finished the whole slice. You gotta eat one slice within seven minutes. This is pakushal salad, patom riba, patom manti, patom bach. Then you remember to eat the other half of the slice. At the end, you knock down that slice, but you didn't eat it within seven minutes. Says the Jewish law: if you did not eat the ounce of bread within seven minutes, it doesn't count that you ate it. So if you will do my macharonim, shoshtochoj berkat amazon nishitayt, you're not allowed to do berkat amazon. Etabuzit bracha. That's Rabotai, be careful. Shabbat table is a very big problem. Tomorrow is Oshana Raba. Tomorrow is going to have the same problem. You know why? People come to synagogue, Rabotai, tomorrow, and the whole, before they come to the synagogue, they eat at home. The amount of food they eat at home makes them so sleepy, and then they miss out. You know what's a common mistake people do in Oshana Raba? Common mistake. They say, you know, Rabbi said we have to stay up the whole night. He looks at the time, says seven, ten nits. Why, 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 why? Do you know how long that night will be? <laughs> seven, ten is nits. It's a budget pakam is kind of so with him, Jonah Mebro. Rabbi, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play it smart, Rabbi. I'm going to have a win win situation. I'm going to go eat like there's no tomorrow. Then I'm going to sleep. I come to synagogue one o'clock. Everybody, everybody in the books, they don't, they don't realize I'm there or not there anyway. I come on a clock like a champion sitting over there talking to this guy, to that guy, and I stay up until the morning. <laughs> Says Chachamim, Habibi, opposite, Pum the other way around. Afuch. When is the most important part of tomorrow night, Rabotai? The first half of the night. Which means tomorrow from sunset till 12.40. That's the Hatzot. At 12.40 tomorrow, Akilov, you're going to get Ftarosh Tampovka. It's called Chotam Achitzon. At Yom Kippur, we prayed, Hashem will write us in Book of Life, write us in Panasa Tova, write us in Book of Tzadikim, write us in Efua Shelema. Right, right, right. Finished Kippur, Ne'ilah, what do we say, Hashem? Now it's already time to sign things. Chotmenu besefer chayim, lemanach Elohim chayim, uchtom kol b'ne beritecha. Chota chatom, signature. So we got one signature in Ne'ilah of Kippur, one signature. The Jewish law says anytime you deliver something to somewhere else, if it's on a Torah perspective, you need two signatures. It's called Chotam Beto Chotam. The other day, our guy over here making uh, Yachni. You know Yachni? <coughs> huh? If you make Yeshua without Yachni, it doesn't count. You know that. You have to make another Yeshua. Let's say the Chobah. So a person make uh, Yachni, Le'ilu Nishmat, the Yachni. So he, <laughs> he took the Yachni. He said, Rabbi, I have another Yeshua. I have to serve it. Now, it was on Yom Tov. He said, Rabbi, can I take the Yachni from our synagogue, tell the Goy, take it over there. The Goy is going to drive it to there. Allowed or no? Take it in a car. Told him, can the Goy walk over there? Says, yeah, but it's far, it's uh, not comfortable. I said, so why the Goy is going to drive the Yachni? For your benefit or for his benefit? Because he doesn't want to walk with bags of Yachni. What, what's the reason he's doing it? Yachni is cooked uh, boiled chicken. So why is he driving the car with the Yachni? Why he doesn't walk over there? Because he wants to benefit you or because he wants to benefit himself? Himself. So, therefore, it's allowed. Oh, yeah, Boshet, Boshet, Rabbi, Boshet, Boshet, Rabbi. I said, no, John, no, no, there's another problem. What? I said, you give right now the Yachni to the Goy. Are you going to drive with him? No, Kainachi, what are you talking about? No, 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 so he's going to go himself. I said, oh, what about the other halakha? You gave a Goy food in his hands without Shtampovki. Not if you receive, Rabotai, you sometimes buy food. You buy food from different restaurants. Kasher, glad kasher, bet yosef, kemach yashan, shokak nada, kak palozhona. 100%. If you receive that food, there is no double siman. For meat. Double siman for any deoraita related matters. Not only meat. And any deoraita related matters, you need to have two simanim. That is item was not exchanged there was one time a delivery guy was working for one of the pizzerias 
And on the way to the from the pizzeria, he was on the bicycle. You know, the pizza guys, the delivery guys have that red box. Mm -hmm. And he made the wrong stop, whatever it is, the bar, the pizza flew out. Now, in his shop, shop he's a kosher shop, they sell pizza for, I don't know, $15, $16 a pie. I don't remember how much it was at that time. He says, why, 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 why? Right now, this pizza fell out of the box, fell on the ground. Now he has to make up for that. He goes Rabotai to deliver it to another pizza, Taref. Taref pizza. Guys, there was not any additives anyway. No, just cheese in there. There was not any extra thing anyway. Same taste, more or less. He starts, buys the pizza pie over there. How much they cost in the Nakasher one? Three, four, five dollars. I don't know how much. Much cheaper. And it was accessible. It was right there next to the address. He puts it inside. Boom. Comes to the to the guy. Pizza. Our own pizza. One of the pies over there were not kosher. He got it from Hot Pizza. Pizza Hut. Pizza, huh? pizza Hut. Sorry. <laughs> Pizza Hut. Rabotai, all I'm about of this people that will eat that Pizza Hut, gonna be very hot. <laughs> Extremely hot. A person that is eating non kosher pizza, it's 100% prohibited. By Jewish law, you're not allowed to eat pizza that was baked by Goim. The ovens they make it by, it's 100% tariff ovens. They put over the shrimps, they put over there, who knows, basar, halav, pepperoni, pepperoni. And the same oven that you're gonna make your pizza. Rabbi, I took a chleb cheese, sir. What did I take? I only take the chleb and sir. Habibi, according to our Torah, chleb and sir, this is 100% a problem. Whenever the ovens was not a kosher oven, how are you going to put over there the the thing? Now, Baruch Hashem, that one of the members in the house knew a little bit halakha. He says, listen, this one doesn't have any sign. That doesn't come out closed. No stickers, nothing. We cannot eat it. Abotai, I remember the details of the whole story, how it came out that this guy admitted that the pizza flew, flew out, the kosher one, and he made exchange with another one. And this Abotai, got to be very careful. Sometimes you can deliver stuff, you can receive delivery of, of, of stuff. Whenever it comes to food, he has to be two signatures that this is kosher. So I told to this guy, said you want to deliver the yachni to the other, to the other place. You need, forget about the driving part. The driving is the easy part. Of halakha. How are you going to deliver it? So it's not easily exchangeable. Huh? Why? You make yachni right now, go to another store, buy yachni, what's the problem? What benefit he has to do that? He failed. Put tape on it, tape. You gotta make sure that there's a certain sign, there's a certain tape. Now one tape is not enough. You need to make two signatures. Chotam, beto chotam. Make one bag, tape it, so this way if somebody's gonna tear it, it's gonna be recognizable. Then put that bag in another bag and tape that second bag. Like this, you're going to have two signatures that this food could not be exchanged by Jewish law. It's going to be already at two, two signs. Says the Zohar Kadosh, when a Kadosh Baruch Hu decides on Rosh Hashanah certain things for the upcoming year. When does he sign it? When does he sign the package? Huh? Yom Kippur. Ne'ilah of Yom Kippurim. Hashem puts the signature of everything that was decreed on Rosh Hashanah, the good thing should go through, or the, and the bad thing, Be'ezrat Hashem should get an old. Person does tshuva before Ne'ilah, Hashem annulls the bad things. Comes Ne'ilah, puts the first signature. But the decisions of God are the Rabbanar or the Oraita? God decides, it's by the Torah, decides, the Hashem decides. It's not Rabbis deciding, this God decides. So anytime God is in the picture, how many signatures do we need? Two signatures. Like I just told you about the about the Yachni. So when is the second signature comes? <laughs> Says the Arizal Kadosh tomorrow, 12.40 a.m. You get your second signature. It's called Chotam, Beto Chotam. Mr. Akilov, if the second signature, Oshana Rabba person is sleeping with a soska, with his thumb inside the mouth. What do you think his upcoming year is going to look like? That's what... <laughs> With the thumb in the mouth, huh? Five. That's why tomorrow, Rabotai, from sunset till 1240, you're supposed to finish the entire book of Dvarim. From 12, from sunset, as soon as sunset, you can start. Some people read faster, some people read slower. It's important to read it in Hebrew, if possible for you to read it in Hebrew.
Yosef John Famidim. So tomorrow sunset starts. You can start already. Read the book of Devarim. It doesn't matter if you prayed Arvit or didn't pray Arvit, if you have Minyan, if you're in the synagogue or in the moon, doesn't matter where you are. As, as, as soon as sun sets tomorrow, you can start the book of Devarim. The last, the fifth uh, book of, uh, of five, five books of Moses, the, the last one. Right? Not the Right, right, just the, the text. All the way to the end of Israel. Ramon, five, five, the five books of Moses. 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 Five books of and Oshana Rabbah. Well, the gates open, right? Huh? When you read the Sefer Devarim, the gates open. The gates gets open, yeah. And the Book of Devarim. That's why, that's why Rabotai, be careful tomorrow. Start the Book of Devarim on time. Finish it on time, 12.40. It's already... You're really supposed to finish a little bit earlier. Because you need to leave at least 5 to 6 minutes. Let's say 12, 12.35 tomorrow. Finish it. Why? Because you need the last 5 minutes to say Kiryat Shema Lamita. And so the whole Kiryat Shema Lamita. Anytime you're going to sleep, you're supposed to Ephraim say the whole Shema Israel. This night you don't go to sleep. So why we say Shema Israel? No, we don't say Bracha Mapil Hevelei Shena tomorrow because we don't go to sleep. So why we have to say the whole Shema Israel tomorrow before 12:40? Huh? We don't know if we're gonna wake up. I already said by Arvid. The Tikkun Rabotai of Kriyat Shema is bringing back all the Nitzotzot Hakedusha that a person missed Chas Shalom with his Brit Milah Kakot Ashiv Kuzdel Chotan Aliyav Bilah Chotan Tuni Kuzdel Pashlo. <coughs> yeah. What's the significance of reading the whole book of Devarim? The book of Devarim. The, the book of Devarim is the book of Musar written by Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu gave Am Israel such a Musar, and that's what the whole idea of Moshe Rabba. The, the end of Moshe Rabba is the last signature. Chotam beto Chotam. Since we need the second Chotam to be on our side, to be on a good verdict. We must have Tshuva. Who was the first author that composed the book of Tshuva? Adam. No, Adam did Tshuva. Composed the book, wrote a book. King David? First one was Moshe Rabbeinu. What book it was? Right. Book of Devarim. Mm. That's a person supposed to read it, Rabotai, in language he understands. Very important to understand. The whole idea is to do Tshuva. So you read, you say, wow, look what we have done here. Look how many times we messed up. And Ashkadosh Baruch still had mercy on us. Still gave us a, another blessing and another year, another year in the desert and another success in, the, in, in our life. I asked you last time, Mashiach, listen to me. He wants to be on the video. Akilov, he wants to be on the video. He jump. Mashiach, he jump. Obedient. Daj mu sidjet on the video. Ruski možda čitam? Na ruskom tožo, da. Ja si tajta zizda. Se loka mi vi. Это грязно, это грязно, это вот тот вот. No, 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 no. I said the most idea, the best idea is to understand what you read because you want to do teshuva. The whole idea is to do teshuva. I ask you a question, Mr. Mashiach. There was one time a person, I told you just Masal, Mashal once. Ephraim, listen to this. Listen, Akilo, don't leave this, is very important for your father. There was one time a person. Did he keep up? Yeah, oh, you want my schlepper? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. There was one time a person sitting on his uh, front, front of the house. Sitting, kaifuit, bah. Suddenly one guy comes to him, Akilo, says, Listen, I'm so sorry. I got lost on my way. I don't know the way. Can you please help me? So, what here? Why not? What do you need? They said, can I make a phone call? I want to ask my wife to pick me up. I don't know where am I. I'm stuck somewhere in the world. I have no idea where am I. Mr. Mashiach, Dobry Chalabek, that's telephone scratch for Zalusto. Why not? Call wherever you need. This Dobry Chalabek, Rabotai, gave the guy the phone. This criminal guy called 911, screaming, Ah, no, come right now. There is a guy raping me. How many policemen came, you think? 25 of them. Right away. If you say somebody is stealing from the store, oh, 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 oh. he's allowed to. If he's raping somebody, why, why, why? 25 policemen came. 
The guy gets arrested, goes to jail, go in America, you are guilty until proven innocent. You know that. It's not the other way around. Even though the loss is the other way around, yeah? But the, the truth is the other way around. He goes to jail, sitting in jail for doing nothing. He is guilty until proven innocent. Few months, millions of lawyers, tons of money, goes to garbage. After that, Baruch Hashem, Belal to Vishal. Rabotai, the guy sitting after a few months on his porch, trying to relax from the whole situation. Who do you think he sees passes by again? Same guy. Same Devona. Now, what are the chances, Akilov, that this Devona is going to get helped by this guy? Huh? Amir, if it would be a person. He sees the same Devona passes by. Mr. Ephraim, and that same Devona is coming to the person. He says, Hello. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me last time. I know I put you in a lot of problems, lawyers. I, cr I destroyed your name. I destroyed your credit. I destroyed everything about you. But I'm telling you, Be'emet, this time I got lost on the way. I really, really begging you. I need your help. Please, one second. Give me your phone. I got to make a phone call for my wife to pick me up. I don't know where am I located. What are the chances of that this guy is going to give him the phone second time? What are the chances? Almost zero. Almost, almost zero. Almost zero, right? Let's say this guy is Mamash Dobri Chilavek. Unbelievable Dobri. He takes the phone and he says, you know what? But this time don't make tricks, huh? No, I promise you this time I'm doing the right thing. He gave him the phone, Rabotai. The guy picks up the phone call, the number 911. Hello, Vasya, they're raping me. Come here immediately. This time, 50 policemen came. <laughs> Arrested. It is so that. Now, again, you, go, you are guilty until pro proven innocent. Millions of dollars, lawyers, tons of money, tons of stress. The guy sits in jail for a few months for doing nothing wrong. After a few months, he came out. Stress, Chabal al Azman, his name destroyed two times already. He's sitting on his porch trying to relax. <laughs> Mashiach, who's coming by the third time? Same guy. Same. Huh? Same guy. Now tell me, Mr. Mashiach, what are the chances this time our dear <coughs> hearted guy, kind guy, gonna give him the phone on the third time? What are the chances? Jesse, what are the chances that this will happen right now, third time? Huh? You say, what are the chances going to happen? Rabotai! This guy said, Hello, Vasya. Two times I gave you a chance. Two times you said, Behemet, Behemet, Behemet! The third time I'm already, how do they say in English? First time, shame on. You, second time, shame on me. me. Third time, shame on you and your mother also. Leave me alone. Get out of here. <laughs> Abotai, the third time, none of us, no matter how kind person you would be, you would not give your phone. You would not give your help. Abotai, a person has a big blessing in his, in his life called his children. Akilov, all of us have blessing in our lives called children. Some of us already have, some of us about to have, some of us Bezat Hashem get married soon and we will have. Abotai, how many times God gave us a blessing called the power of reprocreate? How many times, Abotai, we used that power the right way? How many times we used that power the wrong way? A person was in public school, was a teenager. How many times he have done wrong things with his private area? Huh? Every other day. Every other day. Ephraim, take your child and look at him. Ask yourself, do you deserve this child? After messing up so many times, piece of plastic that doesn't give life, you would not give to a guy after the third time. Two times the guy may stop, third time you're not going to give it to him. God gave us a power of reprocreate. How many times we messed up that part, Rabotai? 
Do we deserve the third time to stay alive? To get something from Shem? Akadosh Baruch Abotai, we're reading Sefer Devarim, Hashem says, look how many times you messed up. Bamidbar, Ba'arava, Molsuf, Ben Ben Paran, Uben Tofel, Laban, Hatserot, Dizav. Every single spot in the desert you made mistakes. And yet I am going and giving you life. You came to Queens, New York, Jamaica Estates. You build your mansions. You have Baruch Hashem success. You have a family. You have life. Do you really deserve all what you have? Piece of plastic you don't give a guy after you messed up second time. God gave you Baruch Hashem everything. is working. Everything is <laughs> flourishing. That's our Rabotai. Tomorrow it's extremely important to do tshuva by reading the book of Devarim. If you're able to do it in Hebrew, best. But Hebrew will require you to understand. Some people understand, some people don't understand Hebrew. In such a case, it will be better for you to do Hebrew and English. This will be, Those are the words, etc., 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 etc. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. You're going to go. It's going to take you forever, but you'll get it done. Rabbi, I can't. Even if I will do that, I will not finish it before 12.40. It's going to take me 10 hours. To a regular guy that just read Hebrew, it takes about 2 hours. Fast. Put your milk. Yeah? So, he does an hour and a half. So, we're not talking about the Iraqis. Bukharis, by the time they eat Gosh Gijam, Manti Habibi, it takes 2 hours. <laughs> An hour and a half, two hours about, right? Just Hebrew fast. person that barely reads Hebrew, and he needs to read in English on top of it, it's going to take him at least seven, eight hours. So he's not going to finish before 1240, before, before 1235. English. So he can read English in this case. How long will it take? I don't know. I didn't time it tomorrow. Let us know, so we'll put it in our notes. So people know. In my, For me, the Hebrew takes about an hour 50. Hour 45, maybe. The Hebrew, just Hebrew, plain Hebrew. <laughs> Put him out the Hebrew. Does it have to be start to finish, or do you take a break? You can take breaks, yeah. You can take breaks. You can have a meal in between, let's say, you want to start, let's say, right as soon as sun hits. The uh, sun, sun down hits, go. Go ahead. Suda, you don't need to. If you want to do, I tried, Belin I told it to you. Ari, remember what I said to you on Shabbat? Every day of the Chola Moed, eat bread in the morning, eat bread in the evening with the Ushpizin. Ushpizin, the Zohar Kato says, if you don't welcome them, they don't come. If you don't welcome the Ushpizin, the spiritual guests, they don't come. It says, the Zohar is like the Brit Milah. You know, Akilo Bezrat Hashem, soon you're going to come to another Brit Milah of your son. Amen. And over there, you're going to welcome Eliyahu Wanavi. Ponish Eliyahu Tiv, Pazvad Zina Silinet. Zeyaki Sechel Eliyahu Novis Kazar. Huh? This is the chair of Eliyahu Wanavi. Why are you doing that chair? <laughs> We're saying, this is the place, I'm welcoming Eliyahu Wanavi. Says the Zohar, what if you do Brit Mila? Tizabel Eliyahu Wanavi Pazvat. Does he come or no? no forgot. You forgot? Call Eliyahu Wanavi. Does he come or no? Shunor Rabotai, Eliyahu Wanavi, his last name, Eliyahu Wanavi, or which? No, Eliyahu Wanavi both. If you don't welcome him, he doesn't come. I didn't get invited. Same thing says the Zohar Kadosh about Abraham Tzadik Yaakov and the rest of the Chachamim, the rest of the Tzadikim. Abraham Tzadik Yaakov, who next? Moshe Aaron, Yosef and David. Tonight we're sitting at Yosef and Tzadik. I already ate bread in the other sukkah. I ate bread, said the Kat Amazon. Here I had a witness. Ed Echad, Neman Bisurim. He was with me. You guys didn't eat bread yet, so make sure you eat bread. Tonight, eat bread, Yosef and Tzadik. It's a big deal. Tomorrow morning, throughout the day, eat another time of bread. Anytime you eat bread, the order is etilat yadayim, with bracha, lishev basuka, standing, then sit down, then hamotzi lechem in aretz when you're resitting down, and break the bread. Don't bite on the bread. You're supposed to break the betziata pad. Supposed to break the bread, dip it in the salt three times, and then you eating two ounces of the bread. Like this, you fulfill a mitzvah of welcoming the guest. Of the Ushpizin, or if it's for Yosef Atzadik, tonight and tomorrow morning, throughout the day. Huh? No, no, no. The, what did I say? What's the right order I told? The chef standing, you sitting down, you say, I'm after. If you do the other way around, you put yourself in doubt of F-sick. Bottom line is Kashir. 
But if you want to do the best, Rav Vadi Yosef says first, Lishev standing, then you're sitting down, and you say bracha amotzei lechem in Haaretz, and you eat how much bread? Two ounces of bread. Tomorrow you have to do that. By halakha, you don't have to do that. Tomorrow is David Amelech's ushpizik. But if you want to welcome David Amelech to your house, I want to welcome David Amelech to my house. Oh, Liam Bo. Bidikam chashavti alecha. Unbelievable. There is a song they made, Hashem Oevoti. You heard that song? Huh? The singer, the singer reminding me of you. I said, where is Leo? Now where am I going to see Leo? And he walked today. Unbelievable. He history. And I don't know his name. That's the problem. There is four names. I don't know which one is uh, to think about. Huh? Wednesday night is obligation. Yom Tov. On Yom Tov, you're obligated to sit inside the sukkah without beracha. Gemara says, Yatu ve'yatvinan, baruch elo mevachinan. You're sitting in the sukkah on Wednesday night, this upcoming year, in two days. You're sitting in the sukkah without beracha, but you must sit inside the sukkah. So tell your wife, Jonah, still we're setting up the sukkah. Wednesday morning, still sitting in the sukkah throughout the whole day. Until Wednesday, uh, the Thursday night, yeah? Wednesday, gonna finish. Wednesday night, gonna finish, gonna go to Thursday. Okay? Thursday already don't need to sit in Sukkot. Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night. So Wednesday night starts Thursday. Okay? Wednesday night starts Thursday. By Jewish law. By Ere, by Boke, right? Starts from the night. So it's Thursday in Sukkot? The whole Thursday you in the Sukkot. Thursday night, which is already Friday. No inside the Sukkot. Already doing the Kiddush inside your house of Shemini Atzeret. Shem, Shechiano, you say, for the both nights. For the both nights. People get mistake with this and Pesach. The Torah says, Bayom Arishon Shabbaton, Bayom Ashevi'i Shabbaton on Pesach. The first day and the seventh day of Pesach are holiday. So since it's one holiday of Pesach, the first day you say Shechiano, seventh day not supposed to say Shechiano. However, on Wednesday night, it's going to be Shemini Atzeret. Shemini Atzeret is not Sukkot. Shemini Atzeret is a new holiday. Yemaran Masechet Sukkah in the end says that there is Pazar uh, Kashav. Uh, There's six things that Shemini Atzeret is different than Sukkot. One of them is Man. It's the Bracha. Shechianu Vikimanu Vigianu. Let's say Man. Now, Mashiach, remember I told you before Kippur, told everybody, not only you, that the Bracha of Shechianu is supposed to be pronounced the right way. Akilov, if you say Shechianu, you say Hashem, thank you for my armpit. You know, you know what is this called in Hebrew? Here we have Leon. Leon, how do you say armpit in Hebrew? Shechiyam. Shechi, how do you say our armpits? Shechianu. <laughs> so if you want to bless Hashem for living long life to that very day, you're supposed to say, Shechianu. Hini Shechianu. Shechianu is our armpit. Pad Mishke, Bok, Spasiba Zana, Shepad Mishke, Tegelen. There's three vowels. She, he, he, yanu. Family, a kilo. A person says, Shikhianu. He says, Hashem, thank you for my. Armpit. Shechi. That's called Shechi. Bet Shechi. No need to die both. Yom Tov eta. Simchato. Simchato ra eta. No? All the way to Shabbat finished. So Habibi, Sukkah is over. Kippur is over. Ham is over. Zev Shesh Tampov Kifsed Yilav Shoh. Patpisalis. Iftarora soja patpisalis. Yes? Can you say, maybe some people don't know the Ushpizin. What does this mean? Which yes. means guests. Yes. Okay, which means the guests? Who are they? Why we they have are special they? guests coming all the way from Gan Eden. Mm-hmm. Gan Eden, Ailion. This Gan Eden Rabotai is very high. They're here right now. They are here if you welcome them. Today you sit here. If you welcome them and you ate bread with them, they come. You sit? If you didn't eat with them or you did not welcome them, they don't come. So in a previous sukkah, I was sitting by to eat. To be able to make the recording the good way, I ate earlier. So we want to take care of Avram over here. So he's going to get also Zechoyot. I ate earlier today. I ate the bread in the other sukkah. I welcome Yosef at Sadiq and everybody else. Ate bread. Said Bracha, Lishev, Sukkah, Kaknada. 
Yosef is with me right now for the rest of the year. How they be everywhere at one moment? Now, good point. Rabotai, you should know. Common mistake people do. If you stay up the whole night and you get to pray before nets, this is not the right thing, Rabotai. According to the halakha, praying before nets, before the sun comes up, some synagogues, they say, if you stop, let's go, it's okay, don't worry about it, and let's pray, 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 let's pray. The Rabotai, that's not the right thing. It's better for you if you know I cannot pray with Kavana. I'm a, you know, I'm a weak person. I need my sleep. I'm not a strong person. We will tell you, listen, 12.40 came, go home, hour to rest, come back to learn the, until the morning, no problem. But if a person saying, no, I'm going to stay up the whole night, he stays up the whole night, comes to the morning, Rabbi, let's go faster, let's do earlier. This Rabotai says, Halakha, the wrong priority, your priority is the wrong way. Because praying nets, that's the right thing. Praying before the nets, Rambam says, a person that prays before nets called Chote. You hear this? Chote. Greshnik. A person that prays before nets, Rambam calls him, Shtampovka, you are a sinner. Imagine in such a day. Hoshana Rabba, you want to be called sinner? On this day, you want to be called sinner? Shebe on you. That's why be careful, Rabotai. Better for you if you know you're weak. Go home, sleep a little bit, hour to hours. Come back a little bit energized. Uh -huh. So you'll be able to pray on the right time. You don't have obligation to go to Mikveh in the morning, but it's an important thing right before the morning comes to go to Mikveh. If you don't have Mikveh, unfortunately, Mashiach, you got to arrange a Mikveh over here. Ten synagogues around, not one Mikveh over here. Leilu Nishma, not as Delitz. At the Siroz Megavosh. If there is no Mikveh, second best is mik uh, the pool. Nipul, a pool. Yeah? The, the, Deep inside the, deep inside the water pool, and uh, we have one kavana for purification. One kavana go inside the pool for for purification. That's the uh, Enough. One time is enough. If a person wants to do even better than that, tell him before you start the whole night to learn, start to learn whole night whenever you're pure. So go to the pool or to the mikveh before you're starting the whole night. So some synagogues are gonna start at 10 o'clock, some at 11, some at 1, some at uh, 12.30, depends on the synagogue and the schedule. Before you coming to the learning, make sure that you are going to the mikveh if you wanna do the best of the best, and uh, make sure you finish the book of Dvarim, book of Dvarim before 12.40, before 12.35. When's the night? Huh? When's the night? When's the night? Tomorrow night. Rabbi. Tomorrow night. Is there a class here We're going to stay up the whole night till the morning. We're going to have a class, okay? Rabbi Ineria is over here. Rabbi Simcha is going to be speaking. I'm going to speak in Bezat Hashem. They're going to have a class. Tomorrow we're not going to have the regular class, 9 o'clock class. Not going to have it because of the Shana Rabba. People are going to be home, prepare themselves, eat a little bit. Do not eat a lot of food. You're going to be sleepy. A lot of food makes a person sleepy. And I told you last time, Akilo, our stomach size is this size. You know that? Yeah, the size of your palm. Huh? This is your stomach. What is the size? Anytime you eat food more than that, your stomach gets ex, uh, stretch, expanded, stretch. stretched. That stretch puts a lot of toil on the body and the person goes sleep. to sleep. And that food, Rabotai, does not go and get absorbed by your body. You get shalom, extra calories, extra diseases, extra dardisar, katori, none of us need it. That's why eat under control. A person that loses control is going to have to pay later on for pills that will control. The pill is going to control his blood pressure, the pill is going to control his diabetes, the pill is going to go all the dark design. Why? Because he lost control whenever he was supposed to. Do not overeat. Rambam says overeating is poison for your body. Poison. If you overeat, you put yourself in poison. Arizal Kadosh brings the Ben brings his words. He says, what's the biggest tum'ah to a person, impurity to a person? Overeating. It says, how do you say uh, stomach in Hebrew? Beten. Bet, tet, nun, beten. It says, take the word tum'a. Tet, tum, vav, mem, alef, tum'a. Prana, impurity. It says, take the word beten. Beten, I've written three books. Bet, two, tet, nine, n, fifty. Two, nine, and fifty. What did you get? Sixty-one. Tum'a, tet, nine. Vav, six. Nine and six, 15. 15. M, 40. 40. What did you get? 55. 55. Aleph, hey. Aleph, one, hey, five. What did you get? 55 and six, what did you get? 61. 61. To tell you the biggest tum'ah. Where does it go? 
труда бете, труда штамикс. Рабая каше не пакушо. Я все браха сказал. I did everything the right way. Did you overeat? That if you overeat, you put in yourself too much. That food that you put extra goes to the Satan against you. And what happens to a person at home? Открывает книгу, засыпает. Why? Full of tum'an and evil. Tum'an and evil. A lot of impurity on himself. He cannot be busy with Kedusha. He cannot be busy with the holiness. That's a rabotai. Every one of us wants to have three days that they are holy. Control yourself. Make sure you do not overeat. You're going to be awakened. You're going to be energized. And you're going to learn the Torah the best way. You're going to have the Kedusha on you the best way. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen. Rabbi Hanania. Same thing Shabbat. Same thing anytime. A person should not over eat. Yeah, control. One time, two times, three times. You're going to break that. And you're gonna, the, the beauty is that the stomach shrinks. When you don't eat a lot, it goes back to the right side. And like this, you're not going to become fat. You're not going to become with problems, diabetes, and cholesterol, and all the problems. You're going to stay healthy for many years to come.